And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time. Is that a parrot on your shoulder pedal show? My name is Kapoor. Sure, why not? <laughs> hey, welcome along. I'm Alex. This is a parrot uh, delay from k -Line. That's what it's a parrot thing. Oh, I see now. Because yeah. if you look, it actually has like a orange beak thingy. Yeah, it's, uh, is that the tongue or the beak? I'm not sure, but yeah. Anyway, hey, welcome along. We're going to do a demo of this very delay pedal. Yes. The k -Line is sending us a bunch of pedals in yes. this whole new G-Series. Yes, all new and improved. Well, not improved because it's all new. Please like and subscribe for some reason. Ding, ding the bell, give us a thumbs up, and comments and questions below. Yep. All that A stuff. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, pretty straightforward digital delay. Yes, yeah, so that's Standard. one of the two digital delays. So according to the brochure, this is the more pristine 80s digital style delay. Cool. Uh, super simple controls. You've got time, you've got mix, and you've got repeats. And um, you've got a parrot. And a parrot, of course. Yeah. Parrot tone. So here the parrot tone, we're going into a Mozatronics amp switcher via the OTS Mini 20 from Cherry Tone and a 2 notes torpedo cap to X, doing some cab sim. Yes, and uh, any reverb you hear comes from that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Should we just have a, get, have a spin? Yes, so this is what it sounds like without a parrot, parrot. delaying things. <laughs> That there's modulation there on this yes because it kind of drops the pitch so i mean uh i just wanted to show so the, the, the slowest setting so let's just do one repeat this yeah, is the yeah, shortest yeah. quickest yeah. setting yeah. very quick <laughs> <laughs> it came and went did you did you hear anything <laughs> so if we if we now hang on let's put to, so this is the quickest setting so it's pretty quick now if we go to the longest setting i think it's sort of maybe seven eight hundred milliseconds uh, now let's check out the mix knob. So all the way counterclockwise. Dry. Overall. All the way clockwise. Heaps all. Sort of 50 50. Yeah. Uh, okay, and with the repeat as well. So it's it sort of gets the, it doesn't self oscillate, but gets an almost infinite repeat thing. And it's one of those oh. digital delays that it gets really kind of glitchy when you move to... I like that sort of stuff. I actually almost wish there was a way to chase Bliss it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> if you, um, you're into sampling stuff, that could be really cool to grab some tones like that and then sample them. Manipulanize them. A machine or something. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, with the repeat space, you get to pretty much infinite repeats that doesn't self-oscillate. Mm. Uh, but it's a it's a pretty sounding delay. Um, yeah. Uh, just, just a nice amount of modulation. Yeah, just a little bit of modulation, which you, you almost can't really hear until you do silly stuff, and then you can hear how the modulation works. So uh, I'll give it a go now quickly on my Yamaha Revstar RS-SO2T in Sunset Burst. Wow. Which undelayed on the neck pickup uh, sounds with a G chord, sounds like this. It's a bit of grit because they're hi higher output pickups than those.
can definitely hear the modulation there. Um, it's cool, it's a pretty sounding delay. I like it. I like. Uh, it's cool, eh? <clears throat> I kind of wish. Part of me wishes that I could do something like that was some sort of an LFO to move that around, like Chase sure. Blizzard, like put flick a little switch in the black in the back, and it just goes. Even expression. Or expression. Oh, one of those third hand pedals, mm. you know, that you put on there, and I like that sort of stuff. Quirky, kind of glitchy delay, digital delay. This stuff. could actually be really cool for people doing computer based sample stuff that you want to run back through something that's not a plug-in yeah yeah that could yeah. be fun it's, really it's cool ramp box. I like it what do you guys think uh, this whole new series has um, brand new graphics and these kind of like glossy insert tops yeah yeah it's it, 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 um, it, I like it and I mean it feels the, the, the pots feel solid the switch feels solid it feels well built yep. uh, and I believe uh, all the digital pedals in that range uh, the retail price, anyway, at the moment, at the time of filming this, is I think, I believe, seventy nine US dollars. Uh, the analog pedals are forty nine. All the digital pedals are seventy nine. So it's not necessarily expensive. No. It's definitely more in a budget sort of kind of world. Um, yeah, it's cool. It's interesting. Mm. What do you think? Comments below. Yeah. I dig. Cool. Despite the dollars, it's still very usable, very musical. And also, the other thing was. Um, a digital delay that sits nicely with your tone. Yeah. It doesn't get in the way of no parts. No, no. Yeah, comments below. What do you guys think? Yeah. Do you like the new color schemes, new graphics? Yes, the parrot. Whole scheme. Uh, big thank you once again to K-Line uh, yeah. for sending this out to us uh, and making this all possible. And uh, yeah, let, let us know in the comments below uh, which one of these 12, well, uh, we've done a few now, but uh, which one of the other ones that we haven't done yet, which pedals do you want us to do next? Thanks for Comments hanging out. So see you soon.